Minimizing charisma. Maximizing intelligence. Shooting someone in the crotch with a cannonball. Rust propulsion. It's sciency. <laughs> Why you always gotta be blowing my spot up like that? There are my runes. There they are. I'm not mad. Science needs art and art needs science. They both need each other to function properly. There are ways to figure out what the paper is really saying. And then I'm ready to get on Twitter and yell at people about doing their own research on the oh! oh, hold on there, sports fan. Kyle Hill, everybody, is the next generation of science communicator. I'm going to be too old at a certain point to do those terrible things to my body, and it'll be up to you. He's got like a lion's mouth. This guy's amazing. <laughs> Kyle Hill. I'm Boo Rambo. The universe is indifferent to you. Whether or not you have amazing hair, the universe doesn't care. How are trees pushing past this pressure limit? getting somewhere, but I still don't think it's worthy of G.R.R. Martin suspender. I'm totally right, right? Post up photos of my my freaking hair? Is that what you all want? No, you don't, weirdo. Kyle Hill. Is your last name actually Hemsworth? What's going on? Our, our resident Thor lookalike. I prefer uh, Black Friday Chris Hemsworth. Oh, thank you. Hey, you know, if you need a haircut. Oh, of course not. We're not going to send sharks with freaking laser beams on their heads to an asteroid. We're going to nuke it. You don't need Bruce Willis at all. Wrenched. Oh, oh. Headshot. Oh. Kevin, turn on the monitor. Kevin, this transition better work. The blast doors can't. Kevin, turn it on. Ke Kevin. Kevin, call his agent and have them call my agent. Kyle Hill. Happy birthday. Feliz Navidad. I'm just a biologist. I don't know how this works. This is how you do science. Can I just grab it? Oh. Laws. Corollaries. Bye-bye. I know that global catastrophe isn't the most fun thing to think about all day unless you're me, so... Are we going to do some science, bro? <laughs> Lasers don't have that much momentum. That's not how a s clockwise works. <laughs> don't worry, you can do this even if you are not an AI. It boots the boundary layer around a person to it. And I guess it matters what kind of dragon we're talking about. to realize here is that the bigger the thing does. This kite is completely inaccurate. I'm gonna kill this guy and tell him to his face. You're wrong about physics. Not enough lift force. Oh. Nuclear metal donut thing with magnetically confined star like plasma. The radiation flux in here alone is enough to cause instant death. That's really funny. I like that idea. Hey, look at me. I'm a streamer. I have a bedroom. We know anything with a decapitation hazard deserves to. Uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, that's good. That's fine. Put it on PBS, I dare you. Chattathan Taylor Thomas, as I like to call you. Welcome to a scientist place. The only place on the internet, too low, where you can get both science and high-end premier, some might say even premium, gaming. Hello. I am your host for this evening and for all the evenings until I'm dead. Kyle Hill. My day job is as a science man. Our job here at the facility is to not only make lights that work, see, and also science the crap out of everything. It is my goal as a communicator and educator to explore and explain everything underneath the stars and beyond for your edification and immense benefit. But I'm also a gamer. And as we game, I like to... I've, I, I've been asked that question for years. When you watch movies or play games, do you like to science them, first of all? No. Second of all, would I do it for you? Yes. So what we do here 
on the second channel on Scientist Place is give you something else you don't find anywhere else on the internet. I'm very ex ugh. I'm very excited about today's live stream in Specifico. Because if you know anything about me and the previous streams we've done on this channel, uh, we've done a lot of Dead Space on this channel. We've done uh, Dead Space 1 when we were on Twitch. We did Dead Space 2 all the way through. And now we have Dead Space 1 Remake. Uh, it's been getting fantastic reviews. I'm, I, I'm on the record saying it's the best sci-fi horror game ever made, in my opinion. And uh, the remake looks fantastic. There's going to be a couple things we're looking for. Much, much better graphics. The main character came back 15 years later to do all new voice lines for the game. There's a whole new aspect to the dismemberment system where you can actually rip off muscles, fat, and flesh from bone. It's going to look gross and awesome. Do they just redo the graphics or do they add anything to the game, says Crispy. They added new voice lines that were never there before. They added new side quests. They added new dynamic systems to the game that changes the game the game's lighting, atmosphere, sound, and difficulty, depending on how you're playing it. It's a full revamp. I shall watch this through my fingers and, and consider if I should buy it, says Sparky. I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Because I, uh, look, I'm like you. When I first played this game in whenever, uh, 2008. Jeez. I was but a boy. And I remember coming, uh, going down into the basement. I lived in my mom's basement. And uh, I remember a number of times where I booted up the game on my PlayStation. There's even a secret ending, ending, and the ship has no, like, loading time movement. Like, you don't board a tram to get somewhere. It's all one big integrated thing. I remember going into my mom's basement one day, booting up the game, turning off the lights, and then being like, no, I can't do it and turning on the lights and turning off the game. I did eventually beat the game, but it was hard. Never played Dead Space, but watching you play makes me want to buy the series as Jaden Booth. Hey. This, if, if from what I'm seeing, <coughs> if from what I'm seeing and what we're about to see is true, then this is, if you want to play Dead Space, this is the definitive way to play this game. And it's on PC, PS5, Xbox S, or whatever it's called. I've never had an Xbox. Uh, today we're playing on the PC on a PlayStation controller, as I usually do. And before we get into... Th eh, 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 before we get into everything, before we uh, head over to the gaming wing in the facility, I just want to remind everyone that if you want to continue on this conversation, if you want to help me grow the gaming channel, as we are wont to do, like the video, subscribe to the channel, join us, at the facility here, you can help us fix that light. Patreon.com slash Kyle Hill. Join the facility today. Members only Discord. I see so many of you from the Discord there. They love... The nerds love it there. It's like a sanctuary for nerds. You know, like when enough makeup testing has been done on chimps and they send them to, like, a forest reserve? That's what I do for these nerds. And I recognize you, many of you from the chat, from the facility, many of my professors are here. Many newbies, Chef Julie, DeHual, Iron Illustration, Sparky, Tyler, Crispy, Course, Lewis, or Orkobu, Sparky, Jaden, Ekins. People think I'm smart because I make science videos. I only recently learned that Ekans is snake backwards. Kevin, stop doing that. <laughs> Welcome to the command center. Here, where I have two 27 inch curved to fill my perif monitors. Yes, that makes there's a seam right down the middle and it's hard to play games. I don't care. Behind me, two 75-inch monitors. See what you're saying? 
and what we are playing today. As you can see, we have Steam booted up. Yes, the beard bead has returned. I was bored. I know some of you don't like it. Holy crap, Arbok is Cobra backwards. Wow. See, you can teach me things like that, but I'm going to teach you things as we play through this game. We have it all booted up right in front of my empty gaming chairs. I don't like being around people. You see, I've only played for 11 minutes. That's where I was getting my settings um, all dialed in, and there's a lot of settings. There's a lot of um, new settings, uh, accessibility settings that, that you like to see. So seeing a lot of people that I recognize, I love that. Um, and this weekend, after, you know, we're playing this for Get on the Hype Train. Let's see if it's worth it. I want to show you that it is or is not. We will be doing a sponsored Dead Space video on the main channel, The Science of Cracking Planets. Expect that soon. But I wanted to play Dead Space just for me, because I'm excited. Uh, later on in the weekend, I have now... 60 hours in Elden Ring. I am now what you call a total Elden Ring Chad. I have played through the game, and I did this for you, Chad. I played the game until I got right before Millennia and uh, Radigan. So, next time we stream, we are going to try to beat the hardest boss in the game and then beat the game. But that's not what we're, what we're doing today. Kiyakui. Wait, if Arbok is Cobra backwards, then what does that mean about Muck? Any new suit you're going to try on? Says New Castleman. No, I, I don't know. So I bought the digital edition. Well, I was sent the digital edition. And I don't know. It said it came with DLC, but I don't know what. Um, but... We'll get into it. The game has a lot of new looks, feels, and features. Last time... Um, last time we played this, and Buster Sharp in the chat confirmed for me, I think last time we played Dead Space, if it was Dead Space 2, um, we had the most science times of any. Of any stream. I think we had like 40 or something like that. I think it was ridiculous. So... What we do here is we play the game, and we play it together. We'll get through it. I beat the, this game a number of times. Don't worry about it. Nothing to be scared of, unless it looks amazing and I can blow fat and skin off, which I can't. But we're also taking your comments and questions and science timing as we do so. We're not going to be playing full... I don't think we're going to do the full game, um, because we've already done that. But I, I want to give you the first couple hours to see... How does it look? How does it feel? Is it worth it? Let me work it. Here, I pulled some OT. Don't use it on that light, says TJ York with the 999. Don't worry, I won't. Yeah, I'm very... I'm, I'm excited. Because the new system of dismemberment... Like... It goes to the point where you can rip, like, as a as a way to show accumulated damage on the Necromorphs, you can rip off basically every part of their flesh. So, like, a full force gun blast could turn them into, like, a meat skeleton. What are you, if not just a meat skeleton, anyway? Mahmoud El Glacier, or Glazier. Mahmoud a Glazier, with a 10, says, have fun. Mahmoud, I will. And I know you enjoyed that I said your name correctly. Notice this. I've never seen this in a game before. Well, it has an epilepsy warning there. But then it has a content warning. It contains graphic violence, dis uh, dismemberment, impalement, blood, gore, vomit, death. I've never seen that before. I've never seen effectively a trigger warning in a game. Let's science the crap out of this game, says Dark Jester with the five. Oh, we will. Michael, welcome. Is it normal to laugh at the dismemberment of alien zombos, says Soul Dismay? As a coping me mechanism, yes. Um, 
So I have English, I have subtitles on, for, and I, I, I bumped it up for you. But there's also a bunch of... You know, it will even give you a content warning before certain scenes, which is interesting. Um, we're going to start it off on... I mean, I, my, my, my PC is crazy. So we're going to start it off on high settings and everything. And we'll... If the stream gets a little uh, framey gamey, we'll we'll boop it we'll boop it back. But right now, let's make sure our controller's working. Right now, I think there's nothing to do it but say, "Welcome to a scientist plays Dead Space remake." <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that worked fine. J Faith with the 499. I'm getting back into paleontology because of you. I found my passion again. I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Nicole, shut up. I'm so proud of you. Now get out there and find some sick bones. For me. I can't believe what's happening. Strange. Such a little thing. I mean, even right away, just from the character models, you can tell. Sir? Nicole? Yeah. First I've heard from her in weeks. And he hasn't had voice lines before out, you still got in this game, which is cool. I guess you really miss her. This rumor is not a job you turn down, but six months apart with only vid calls? It's rough. Easy to say the wrong thing. I don't blame you. Uncanny Valley's bugging you already? This is an uncanny. I recognize this actor too. I can't place it. So I've seen his face before. Here we go. Nice clean re entry. Welcome to Aegis 7. There will surely be a lot of science time here. Imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock. To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. We'll be doing a whole episode on planet cracking coming up on the main channel soon. Now, where is she? That's Gunner, right? There. I've seen him From before in something else. What a beauty. I mean, he could use a beard beat, but... Biggest planet cracker in her classroom. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? I love this game so much, I just stopped playing the Dead to Space remake to watch you play. Yeah. I've been at it for five hours. I'll get trying to only plasma cutter run Someone's first go. It's LV Coyote. Just be careful on the, the ten. I'm not taking any chances with CEC's pride and joy. I would try that too, but I want to see no chances, huh? the limits of the uh, new flesh and bone system. Do you track your file access? I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks, Miss Daniels. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <clears throat> Sorry, we're in ailing range. That? I recognize his voice. Uh... USG Ishimura. This is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly. Responding no, I don't. To your Never distress mind. call. Come in, Ishimura. Your boom mic arm is caught blocking the captions a bit. Ishimura, do I you can't, copy? What do you Come want me in. to do about this? This is a USG Kelly. You ever hear of a communications black on one of these Fine. things? Come on. Someone pick up the damn phone. The hell is that? Sounds like their communication array is busted. There you go. All Maybe, right. Uh, broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it for 48 hours. Painted max. green. Oh, that'd be a good hey, That gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. See, all this, all this face, Ten, face cap, mocap, cap, all that's new, which is really cool. Gravity tethers engaged. Automated dock. In the original game, you just sit here silently and watch all this happen. Uh, we're losing control. <laughs> Daniel! Guidance system override isn't responding. Shit, shit, coming in too hot. He's gonna smash us into the hall. Ken, aim for that emergency stabilizer. There, the blue light. It might slow us down. Drop the flash shield. Everyone break the shield. I can't tell you how much better Everyone this is. Okay? I'm good. I'll live. Getting a little framey game. Johnson. Right? It's my ankle. Might be broken. Shit. But better than a broken neck. Or worse. Strip. 
Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. Gotta always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Calmed her down. We lost poor booster. Got a fire in one of the stabilizers and... Singularity core's a mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Singularity well, Let's core. get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. G-forces would have liquefied them, says Crispy. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think they were going very fast on that entry. It didn't look... I mean... Okay, so, y yes, Crispy, you are... Cr you are correct in that going from something like warp space to original space, um, if you're going at extreme speed... Yes. Going at extreme velocity. Uh, the change in momentum, going from a lot of momentum to zero momentum, puts a force on you. Force is equal to mass times acceleration, but acceleration is change, a rate of change, a velocity over time. Momentum is mass times velocity. So a force, you can, it's, it's mass times acceleration, but it's also mass times the change in momentum. Uh, it's, it's a change of momentum. That's what, that's what a force is. So if you go, if you have mass and you're moving very quickly and you go from, you know, warp eight to nothing or to impulse speed, I'm wearing a Darmok and Jalad shirt, as fate would have, um, it would put extreme forces on your body and you'd be liquefied. Now, my explanation for that, Crispy, um, would be, if I was, if I had to write it, they're tr it looks like they're traveling quickly through warp space, but it's more akin to traveling through a wormhole such that they're traveling at the same speed, but covering more distance than they would on a non-warped space-time, right? So they can be going the same speed they've always been going, but they cover more distance because they're traveling through a wormhole that's covering, that's uh, connecting two different or farly spaced places in normal space. So then you wouldn't have to de decelerate like that. That'd be my opinion. How's your ankle? It's like hell. But I've had worse. You go on. I'll get it strapped up. The graphics are... Is it, we came down hard. Graphics are really good. Really good. I'm, if it gets too framey, we'll bump it down and we'll um, favor performance. Because I want this thing silky smooth. Be proud, Jack. You got Oh yeah. Johnson might disagree. What? You're off in about the first round. I wouldn't mind something to study my nerves, especially on CEC stuff. So basically, the same as slowly rising up the water column so you don't get the bend. Slow down gradually as not to go splat, says Dark Jester with the 10. Uh, not quite the same because that's um, changing. I guess we better go. That's changing the relative pressure on your body, which changes how gases dissolve into and out of your blood. Um, getting too much nitrogen absorbed in your blood and then it comes out too quickly is related to the ambient pressure over which your body is. Um, Put under, you know. So, like, um, fun little fact is that if you, uh, if you crack open a soda on a submarine, it doesn't make a sound. It doesn't go because that sound is created from when a high pressure soda can encounters the lower pressure of the surrounding atmosphere. That difference allows the dissolved carbon dioxide bubbles to come out of the solution. That's what getting the bends is. If you are under pressure and uh, inhaling pressurized gas, which is what you do to keep your lungs literally inflated at depth, more nitrogen dissolves into your blood than it would at the surface. And so if you rise to the surface too quickly, that nitrogen comes out of your blood like popping a soda can, and that's bad. Submarines are pressurized to help them fight against the outward pressure from the water column. And so being at the same or higher pressure when you open the soda can, there's no big pressure differential to allow all that um, absorbed gas to come right out. 
Where the hell was I going with this? So that's not the same as slowing down fast. <laughs> Wasn't that... That is the power of science. When you understand... When you can start to understand conceptually the basics of things like force, pressure, temperature, those kind of things, you can say fun analogies like that. You can, you can synthesize your knowledge and say something interesting. That's what makes the best communicators in my mind. Being able to say something like, hey, you know how a soda, can's, a soda can works? That's how the bends work, you know? <laughs> but enough about me. Fourteen trillion kilotons. That's that's redundant. Fourteen trillion kilotons. A kiloton is a megaton. So a trillion kilotons is ten to the eighteenth ton. You could have just said a uh, quintillion or quadrillion. Uh, quintillion or quadrillion. I always forget. Quintillion. A quintillion. But a trillion kilotons sounds better. You know. That's why. I mean, Carl Sagan used to do this all the time. He never said larger numbers, if you listen to him in Cosmos. He didn't say, like, a quadrillion or, you know, whatever. I he would say a billion, billion, millions. And that just makes it sound bigger, but it is more accurate. It's another communication technique. What? Yeah. This is all, this is all new, man. Collect Kinesis and Stasis modules from Acting Chief Engineer Jacob Temple. Location? Error. Employee not found. Did you guys get your own Aria? I can't read security. Because you owe me money for that if you use her program. With her comms? I gotta relearn the controls. I've been playing 60 hours of Elden Ring, so give me a second. Yes, this is so creepy. The ambiance is so good. The light, just like, look at the lighting, the small lighting difference. Like, just giving you like a cone of light right there to highlight left in a hurry. specific thing. That's great. I can't wait to play this off stream on security? ultra settings. Where's anybody? There's nothing logged. No duty roster, no power to the elevator. <laughs> she said roster. For God's sake. That security console is still working. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done playing around. Chat, if you have anything terribly imp chat, 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 chat. Chat, if you have anything terribly important to say to Chen, say it now. I forget how to run and stuff. Yeah, we'll figure it out. What have you got, Isaac? Sorry. Shit. It's not just comms for the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the tramps. You could do that kind of damage to a planet cracker. Okay, got the power. Ventilation's up. Power to the elevator. Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. But wait. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Hammond? Take it easy. Daniels, get those elevators running. There's something in here with us. Up there! Oh, God! Excuse me. Ah, usually put the door somewhere else. Ah. Oh man, it looks so good. Oh, this looks like alien right there.
I can see the blood dripping on him. That's sick. God, this is this looks so good. It plays so good. Stoppies? No. Thanks, chat. That looks familiar. Who could say? Alright, fine. Man, everything looks so much better. Mike the Legendary Gamer, thank you. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's silk. Maybe this happened with, um... Well, I guess it is. They may have used the same engine or something. I always forget. That. Um, this was uh, it's running much smoother now when there's no cutscenes happening. That happened with Callisto Protocol too. Ooh, even the sounds are beefed up. I like that. See now for the f uh, introductory enemies. I like. Uh, I'm not a vertical man. I'm a horizontal dude. See, we're looking for some flesh effects here. <laughs> oh yeah, see, you can see his... You can see the meat on his knees coming off. You see that? <laughs> cool. Uh, excuse me. Oh, you hear all the... Twinge, thanks for the three. Do you play inverted? No. Chompy, you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to buckle up a little bit. <laughs> so, sorry. I didn't expect my boot to do that. Yeah, I, I want a more... I want a different weapon. I want to see the full array of those effects. For sure. Okay, we're good. Gotta get our bearings again. Ah! So there's gonna be new scares and all that. I gotta get my control bearings a little bit. Is that the mail? Security request retrieved. Oh. It didn't die. We shot that fucker right between the eyes and it didn't die. Smith had to shoot its fucking arms and legs off. For God's sake, send help! I just watched Markiplier's video. Yeah, he, he likes his horror games, huh? What the? Oh. Huh? Oh my god, Isaac. You made it. Just... They're everywhere. Shen, is he, uh... He's... gone. Nothing I could do. What the fuck are these things? The ones I saw? Some of them were wearing Ishimura uniforms. They're the crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. We need to get to the bridge. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair techs, so how do we do this? There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system, and the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's a doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Jaden Booth, is it explained why the headshots aren't effective on necromorphs? Well, the... The locus of consciousness for the necromorphs may not be inside the brain. Now, I just looked this up because I want to do a, um... A new Last of Us episode. 
um, because the show is fantastic. And people are hyped up about it again. Um, playing on standard tiles is Dave Breen. Yes! I want to experience just the normal version. Everyone just calm down. Um, the fungal parasite that takes control of ants, which is what The Last of Us is based on, or based around, uh, Cordyceps unilateralis, that doesn't actually go into the brains of the ants that it controls. It secretes, well, we think that it secretes chemicals that changes their behavior. So, if you were, analogy, um, or comparison, if whatever's taking control of the bodies, thank you, Chef, for the five, um, whatever's taking control of the bodies of the crew, it may not be controlling their brain as much as it's controlling their muscles by... It can control their muscles by changing electrical potentials across muscles. It could be secreting chemicals, sodium, potassium, things that make the muscles move without direct communication from the host's brain, right? Um, so you must expand your conception of where stuff do from. <laughs> okay, I'll go this way. I want to experience more flesh stuff. Ew. I need... I, I kind of want my turnaround to be a little bit quicker than that. Oh, you can't do the 180 degree turn in this one? Yes, I know. Oh, so there's a cool one. Uh, Crispy was asking about new things in this game. So, there's a lot of new areas in the game where if you want to go to a certain area, you have to turn off power to another area. So say you want to get into that room with a bunch of goody goodies. The game makes you choose. It's like, all right, we can reroute power, but you're either going with no air or no lights. <laughs> so they lost control of their body, kind of. Tajadol Eternal. Yeah, uh, ants that get controlled by the Cordyceps fungus in real life, they are... A prisoner in their own bodies and they're not behind the wheel <laughs> don't have stasis yet or whatever oh see okay I guess this is <laughs> flesh oh man see see how all the flesh came off around his arm before <laughs> sick bye bye Okay, so this is actually just what I was talking about. So they're possessed by a fungus, says Crispy. No. Um, that I, That's not the um, lore of this game. I was just using that as an example. Oh. Whoa, he jumped up. He jumped up in the rafters. Wait, that's where I need to go, right? But I want to... That's alright. We can explore later, Jen. Let's just see how awesome this game has become. Made it home from work, says Nightcrawler. You live another day. Oh no, I did it right. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Yeah, see, so I had to divert power. Ah! Jump! Alright. Alright. All right, all right, you got me. With uh, nice headphones on, chat, um, the directional audio in Dead Space has always been really good. So it, it makes it sound like things are behind you or in front of you. Philly, welcome. Thanks for being here, Rex. So they're fungi to buy a possession, says Kia? Yes. Okay, so now I gotta go back and undo what I just did. That is not that button. Or does that not do anything? This isn't where I'm supposed to be going. Or maybe it is. I like the unlocking sounds. Isaac, don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. It doesn't even slow them down. 
Look at the. Okay. Look at the. The only way is hacking. Look at the part. Heart. Look at the fog and particle Those effects arms, and stuff. Their legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop moving? You have no idea. Wait till you get into it. The game is perfect. You'll absolutely love it, Mike. This is Royal Cas Royal Cascade. Oh, he said mate, so let me try that again. Carl, you have absolutely no idea. Wait till you get into a game. Uh, wait until you get into the game. It's perfect, and you'll absolutely love it, mate. No, I, I've... I, I do love this game. But I'm... Yes, I'm excited that the remake may be, in fact, a perfect remake. All of this has been redone. New everything. Oop. Yeah, right there. Look at all this flesh come off! I like that. Wrong button. Gotta remember the, sp the sprint button. Where's that sound coming from? Uh oh. Knees. Knees. You can hear, uh... Isaac's heartbeat in his helmet. <laughs> I'm not scared. Remember the first time I played Dead Space, didn't sleep for a couple of weeks, scared the living shiz out of me, says Jose Martinez. Oh yeah. Scary game. Yes, right there. Yes. They always love to get behind you. That's what I'm doing. Oh, look at his thigh meat! <laughs> Give me! Sorry, I forgot I was streaming there for a second. That was a perfect accent, says Ryu. Ryu, uh, yes. I've been working on my Australian accent. You're welcome. Can you hear his heartbeat? Hear that? That's good. I don't remember that from the original. <laughs> Alien established, the movie Alien established that liquid dripping from the ceiling is always creepy, no matter what. Gotta get power to the mountains, bye. Yeah, the remake is different enough to throw you off. Yeah, I, I would know what to do, but now that it requires, like, there's power off in one region or not. Or... And I'm assuming they changed enemy spawn positions and all that kind of stuff. Okay, where is that? Oh, let's go up there. Okay. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Go ahead, come out of that bed. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Where am I going? Oh, I went the I went uh, all the way the wrong way and through a room that I didn't need to go through. Okay, bye bye. Do a little safety. I know. They have a they had this in the old game chat, but they they have a um, a setting a difficulty setting called impossible, which is all save stations in the game are disabled, and if you die, your game is erased, and you have to do the other one. Sparky, I'm making, when I'm saying I'm not afraid, I th that's a, that's an Ace Ventura reference that I like. Let's go where it's supposed to go. And there is the first stasis interacting door.
Okay. Le who the her? Have I seen the Dead Space speedruns? Yes. What does one mean? Oh yeah, and they implemented security clearance now too, so it's more uh, Metroidvania. Zelda-y, where you have to get clearance from bodies. That is Mandarin Chinese. And this is security clearance one? No. Did you stream The Last of Us with Science Times? I might. Hit. But Last of Us is kind of precious to me. Wrong button. Whoa, that didn't stop it as much as I thought it would. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I wanted to do it. I want to, I don't, ugh, I don't want to change my memory of The Last of Us in my head, if that makes sense to you. Jesus! I did not know that piece of trivia. <laughs> Thank you. Claw disengaged. Yes, give me your energy. Message retrieved. Vent into engineering. You got a stasis module handy? We need one in tram maintenance stat. The autoloader's fried. I got a damaged tram car on the tracks, and if the whole system's gridlocked, guess who they're calling? Sebel here, sending a stasis module now. What happened to the autoloader? No idea. A lot of shit's been breaking down. Hearing things. Down in the gears where, where no one can be. You know? Did they remove spores from the Last of Us TV show? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Please contact a repair Maybe they just haven't been in a heavily infected area yet. Manually attach claws to initiate repairs. Okay. Can't wait to put on my first new suit chat. I have a... Oh. Haven't seen my rig yet. Ooh, I like the new look. It looks curved. Like it... Like, see, see how the middle of it looks curved away from the center? I like that. That's cool. Oh, hello! Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god, aim. Dude, there you can see the flesh parts. <laughs> now I only... Now I only burn that stasis there because I know I have a stasis, uh, whatever. The size of the bulky compared to the original? No? It looks about the same. Replacing damaged tram car. Please stand by. Hoodie Ninja, welcome. Never played The Last of Us, but I heard it was good. Uh, this is Austin Brown. In my opinion, The Last of Us and The Last of Us 2 are the best games from a story, acting, narrative perspective. Uh-oh! 
there's gonna be one behind me. <laughs> oh, his head got twisted around by that. I keep pressing the wrong button to run. Um, yeah, they made some changes for the Last of Us TV show. And uh, so far, so far I'm totally fine with all of the changes that they've made. None of them have been weird. Tram replacement complete. Can't wait for you to meet the Regenerator. I'm, I'm well familiar with the Regenerator. I am not it's looking forward down. to it. You a was it's possible. less scary in this game. Inventory says there's a spare board in the maintenance bay. We can't run the trams without it. Last of Us, even better than Mass Effect 2. Uh, two very different games. RPGs are, are a different beast. I, I don't know if I'd put it in the same category. I'm talking like single player narrative stories. Of which my top three. Okay. Of which my top three are, uh, God of War, New God of War, New God of War, Ragnarok, Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Last of Us 1 and 2. Easy. Um, but for RPGs, that's a different, that's a different conversation, right? I mean, one of my favorite RPGs of all time is Final Fantasy X. Totally different. Mass Effect's up there for an RPG. For sure. The Arkham series. I hear. Okay. Find the data board. Got it. Do I have to go back through there? Yes, I do. Dip. Looks like it points behind. Me. All right. Funny you mention FX10 because I'm playing it right now as we speak. Oh yeah. I have it on Switch. It's great. Forget your knees. Uh oh. Nice shot, Kyle. <laughs> Ten shots. Eleven shots. That's a new guy. Usually the. Uh... Oh, look at his mouth. Usually the... That's why I didn't recognize that. Usually the guys who spew are uh, the slow, kind of bloated guys. Shooting like a stormtrooper, says Austin Brown. Alright, calm down, Austin. I'm playing on controller. I'm guessing I go back. Nope. All right, Austin. All right, Austin. We'll, we'll we'll tidy it up a little bit. I'm I'm turned I'm uh I'm lost now that this game is so so different. Yeah, Kia. I played more. At the end of the day, I think I did play more Blitzball than the actual game. I got people almost all the way up to level 99. I got the Jack Shot Mark II. Only Imperial Stormtroopers can be that precise. Okay, so now the area that we didn't need to do, we are back in. Just gonna look at that guy's head for a second. Nice. Kyle, we find your lack of aim disturbing, says Dr. Anonymous. First of all, shut up. Second of all, watch this. I wonder if it's gonna respawn enemies that already killed. Don't just put meat in my ear, please. If there's no meat to be sliced. All these, like, high ambient, like, in the distance, like, kung, kung. Kyle, rip the limbs off with stasis and throw them back at them. This is impavdiz. 
Uh, fun fact, stasis doesn't do that. That's kinesis, and I don't have kinesis yet. Why don't you let me do the game? Alright. I'm a Dead Space veteran. That is not the button that I should have pressed. Yeet. Andrew Spore, welcome. Speaking of spores. See that? Little details like that. See how he becomes close to a door, he has to retract his gun. Just a little bit. See that? Just a little bit of detail. I like that. Strategically placed splodies. Splody Foster. <laughs> That's so stupid. This is all new to me. It all looked like a bunch of stuff like this. A bunch of interactive, uh, a bunch of uh, environmental, well, all the art elements have been changed, right? Chat, do me a favor. Chat, do me a favor and like the stream now if you haven't liked it already. I don't trust you. I don't trust you either. Wait, was I already up here? I don't trust you. Okay, I don't trust you though. Yep, see? You can't... I know one of you is going to get me later. But if you're going to try to scare me, you can't be so suspicious. What's suspicious in Spanish? I always want to say sospechoso, but... I don't think that's right. Como se dice suspicious? Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, so, so I can reroute power, but I have to turn either the elevator or the lights off. I'm going to turn off the elevators for now. <laughs> to get into the maintenance room. I think, or do I, yeah, we'll see. I don't want to turn the lights off. So fly literally. <laughs> I always go for the legs first, chat, because that's easier to do with. No, actually, come here. I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste my time. Oh, hello. That was too fast. Kyle, do you think one day we'll be farming materials in space as New Castleman? New Castleman, I have fantastic news for you. We're having... We're, oh, it's so dark now. We'll be doing a, a full episode about mining materials in space, sponsored by Dead Space itself, soon on the channel. Oh. You know, I don't like that they... I like that they did it, but I don't like it, because it's spooky. Um... Like, they made it very dark. Like, they didn't... They wanted to make it an actual, like, tactical decision, right? It's like, eh, it's gonna be dark as hell, but you can try it. Oh, God. Oh, God. When it looks this good, it's much spookier, right? When it was 2008 graphics, not as spooky. This is spooky. Is that episode going to make us whole, Kyle? Yep. Would it be worthwhile to mine the moon? Will we find things that we need there? Um, I don't know off, off the top of my head the mineral composition of the moon. What I will say, and spoiler alert a little bit, is that asteroids are much more tantalizing. Strategically placed microtransactions as horror elements in 2023 graphics. I don't think there's any microtransactions in this game. Where am I? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> uh oh. Where? 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 
Where? Oh god, where? Oh god, where is it? <laughs> where? <laughs> where? Ah, he's right there! Ah, crotch! Oh man. This is way scarier now. Like, doing the, like, strategic thing of turning the lights off and having the graphics be this good and having, like, no UI and no HUD. Oh, uh. Wouldn't mining the moon change its mass? Changing the gravitational effect on a planet? Says TJ York. Um, TJ, planets are big. Moons are also big. I believe the mass of the moon is 10 times, 1 times 10 to the tw to the 22 kilograms. That is 100, no, that is 10 billion trillion kilograms. So even if you removed an amount of mass that could fill all of the world's cargo ships that we have, it still wouldn't be a significant percentage of the mass of the moon. People worry about that with Earth, too. Could we ever mine the Earth so much uh, that it could change its gravity or whatever? Well, first of all, the mass stays in the system, so no. But second of all, everything that humans have ever done, ever, have ever built on the surf surface of Earth, that mass is a, not even a fraction of a percent. Wait, does it ever explain how gravity on the Ishimura works? It's Dr. Anonymous. No, they have anti-gravity tech. So, nothing, uh, sci-fi. It's, it's sci-fi. It's not, uh, super accurate. Isaac, we can't stay here much longer. Hearing a lot of movement. Hold on. I got the data board. I'm coming back to tram control now. Daniel, get ready to go. Dark Jester with the five. Back to mining the moon. Isn't the moon's composition similar to that of Earth? Well, we believe that the moon was created by the bench uh, when a Mars-sized object smacked the early Earth. I think the object was called Thea, we think. Like my weapons master, Thea. Um, it smacked Earth, Mars-sized object. Enough was ripped from Earth in that collision, and then that coalesced into the moon. So in that way, then yes, the compositions would be the same. But I don't know, in mining terms, if the composition is good. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, they made it look a little bit more techy. I like that. Damage up, please. How many do I have? Two? Hundred and fifty rounds per minute. I guess it's two eh, around two per second, huh? Could you make artificial gravity if you made the floor out of a really dense material? No. Um, it's not. Uh, I mean. Gravity is about density, because density has to do with mass and a certain amount of volume, but gravity is, the force of gravity is directly dependent on mass. And so, even if you have the densest stuff, you still need enough stuff to um, create a significant gravitational force. Gravity being the weakest force of the uni in the universe of the four fundamental forces. Um, nuclear strong, nuclear weak, electromagnetism and gravity. So, when you're talking about, and I've heard this before, you know, gravity plates or other, other other stuff like that, even the densest material in the universe outside of, like, a neutron star, which you wouldn't be able to get anyway because it would explode. Even the densest stuff that we know of on Earth, a thin plate of it is still not that much mass. Again, you would need, like, neutron star material, and neutron star material, um, would be impossible to mine. Literally. We know that because I did an episode on it. If you want to know more about neutron star material, go back to the main channel and look up our... Ah! Ah! Look up our nuclear pasta episode. 
Stormtrooper that. You know, it's interesting. I was thinking again, in anticipation of... T t t <laughs> Oh, I can't see anything! <laughs> Kyle, can we use antimatter as fuel? Yes. It would be the most efficient fuel in the universe. Theoretically, the most energy dense fuel in the universe because it is of matter itself. What I was saying, I was thinking about how a plasma cutter actually cuts stuff how lasers actually cut stuff, and it is in the ablation of material. So it's not like penetrate, penetrating, like, um, like a bullet does. A bullet doesn't remove material, it pushes material out of the way. Lasers and, and plasma cutters, they make material so hot that the material vaporizes, and then you, that some thin amount of material that gets vaporized you vaporize the next layer, the next layer, the next layer, the next layer in sequence until you bear, you know, dig into something, you penetrate something. Um, so plasma cutters don't cut like a bullet. No, you, you son of a, I was looking at chat. I really can't see anything when it's this dark. I read that antimatter is the most expensive material on Earth, about $60 trillion, um, at least mile. Uh, it's like $60 trillion per gram, but that's, but that's only, it's only worth that much because of how hard it is to make. You can only make it in, like, the Large Hadron Collider a few atoms at a time, and that rarity and that difficulty makes it expensive. Science time. You're welcome. See, like I said, we've already had a bunch of science times, Chad. This is what... Ooh. Right here, I'm at like 60... Over 60... I'm at like over 60 frames per second. Right there, that looked good. I remember doing more damage to them, to be honest. This is why I watch, not play, horror games. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I'll say this. This is shaping up to be the definitive way to play one of my favorite horror games ever. I think it's probably the best sci-fi horror game. If you get this game, do yourself a favor, even though it's scary. Play it on the biggest screen, at the highest sound, that makes sense, and play it in the dark. You gotta do it. Let it scare you. Kyle, science time on how to improve your aim, says Dr. Anonymous. I missed one shot in those, like, last three necromorphs. Do I have to go back through that? No, okay. Don't make me backtrack that much. Don't remember that. How do you know which way is safe, is what I just heard. Wait, this is the data board. I didn't do that yet. Data board reinstalled. Are you? System restart complete. Really, Kyle, I just had to stream at 2 a.m., says Iran Ronan. Yeah. I keep an eye on you, specifically, at all times, and when you are sleepiest, that's when I deci decide to content. I do it... I do it to spite you. Oh my god, I don't know where to go. Got it. Call the tramp. Got it. Do it. Alright, 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 here we go. Yeah, I knew... I was looking at chat. Maintenance complete. Calling tram. Clear. 
Don't worry, you get on. I'll stay here. <laughs> Super optimal. Fabulous hair, Kyle. Yeah. That's why I have my own... My own personal Fabio We're button down here. Something hit the roof, but it seems operational. Quarantine lockdown is lifted, so you can get to the hangar. Comms are still down, though, so be ready for anything. What's the plan? That mocap's really good. You and Johnson fix up the Kellyan. We report to the bridge. Standard emergency protocol. What? Protocol? Hammond, people are dying here. And I'm not losing anyone else. We stick to procedure. We'll get through this. We'll see. Crispy Chrissy in the chat acknowledging she's never seen any Star Wars product. That's fine. You don't need to. Crispy, it's really liberating when you realize you don't need to do anything. For anybody. Ever. It's a spoof. Ah! Where? 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 Right there. Right here? Right there? I'm going for your kneecaps. Ah! Who hired the orchestra? That's needlessly creepy. <laughs> what if it was in the Ishimura orchestra? Just being like, oh, sorry. My bad. That was a triple fake out. Maybe Chen is playing a violin in heaven somewhere. Oh. Hey, so you didn't, uh... Okay. Okay. Game looks good, don't it? I want to put on my first, my first new suit so bad! I saw you. <laughs> the light... They made this game so much darker. Like, a couple of times, I was only able to see, like, a flash. Chen, is that you playing that violin? And then he's gonna be right behind me. Right behind me? Yep. Right behind me again. Right behind me again. Oh! I'm getting spooked! Look at that. Look at that. What's in there? Uh, I, didn't, I can't even see what's two feet in front of me. That's what's scaring me. There's a secret ending, Ryo. Isaac, we made it to the bridge. Apparently. It's... There's no survivors. Daniels Chen? is trying to get into the command computer. Is Chen down here? Flights are canceled, Chet. Why does Isaac move around like he has sciatica and needs some find some ibuprofen? Crispy, I was just gonna say, he move he I like that he doesn't move like a big hero soldier or something like that. He moves like a guy who's like, alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. I mean, I'd be moving the same way.
chat, we're almost halfway through the stream. Please like the video now, or else I don't, or else I get the hose again. Nobody likes the hose. Kyle, if you were Isaac, what would you do? I don't know. Probably hide in a corner for a bit. I'd establish an area that was secure. I would find a, a lab or a room or something that I knew was fortified, was secure. I could go there, somewhere to rest and store supplies. I'd come up with some kind of plan. I don't know. Okay. Man, it'd be a shame if this whole thing just, like, exploded right now. Hey, I thought I just saw you dead in there. Whatever. I thought you wanted the co- all right. What have you got on you? Is that blood? Haley, I need you to listen. Yeah, it's a lot of blood. The Ishimura's overrun with the fucking monsters. You didn't hear anything? What? No, the comms are still out. Isaac- We need to kill you and fix it now. Got a damage report? Uh, yeah, it it's there. Oh yeah, she broke her ankle. Still? Oh, he's got so much meat. Stop walking at me. Menacingly. Isaac, what's happening down there? Josh and Scott. The Kelly and Till. The Singularity Core overloaded. No! I was the only way home. We're trapped. No! I'm not losing two good people for nothing. What about the command computer? It's a brick. All the primary systems are locked down with the captain's codes. So we find Captain Matthias. Track his rig. Okay. No, my renter's insurance! Uh. Okay, here. Captain Benjamin Matthias. Location medical... status... Deceased? Even the captain? God. Isaac, you're closer to medical. You can double back and cut through maintenance. Find the captain's body and get his rig. With his codes, we... What was that? What do you think it was? Chen? Oh God, it's gone! It was Chen! That's not in the original game. I miss um, I miss emotionless Isaac. It was too funny. <laughs> yeah, it's not supposed to be funny. Yeah. Oh god, I can't see. Thank you. I don't trust that baby. Chat. I don't trust that baby. I want my first new suit. I want my shiny suit. 
Are they going to remake the other two games? No idea. This is getting really good reviews, and if it sells well, then maybe. There's probably nothing bad in the bathroom, right? I'm just looking for some toilet money. Thank you. I want nothing other than toilet money. Don't worry about me. No need to jump out and kill me. Just want your, yes, plasma that came out of you, I guess. And then we're gonna check our corners. Whoop. See that, chat? That's what I learned from uh, Tarkov and military crap. Left-hand peaks are always advantageous because you can expose the minimal amount of your body while still aiming. While a right-hand peak, if you're right-handed, see, I, I don't have the same sight line at all unless a lot of my body is aimable. That's why if you're right-handed, always try to left-hand peak. Body, wall, body, gun. You always want it in that order. Wall, body, gun. That's why you train with both hands. Yeah, sure, I'm assuming. Depends if you're right or left-handed. Yeah, most people are right-handed. 90% of people are, are left-handed. Right-handed. So this is a new thing. I want to see just how seamless the new Ishimura is. Because usually, at this point, you'd have to take a tram. The tram would take you to a new section, which is basically an... a new chapter. But let's see how seamless everything really is this time. New suit time? Yeah, but I'm a lefty. But we don't engineer for the major. We engineer for the majority of the population. Oh, what is that? DLC content? Venture suit. Sanctified suit. Bloody suit. Oh my goodness, infested suit. Look at this freaking thing. Lone survivor. Oh, do I have all of them already? Ha! <laughs> ha! Hell yeah, DLC. For the lost souls forgotten in the depths of the Ishimura. When your mission is to save the one you love, not even death can stop you. Okay. Which one? Which one, chat? We have the original. You can actually, you can look at, uh, you can look like the original game. We have Lone Survivor. I don't know how well you can see everything. Lone Survivor, Infested, Venture Suit, which looks kind of sick, uh, Bloody Suit, and some kind of Zealot kind of suit. Blue, Survivor, Survivor, Infested, Infested, Infested. And this is what I have already. So I'm going to sell this first and foremost. It's basically split. So what we're going to do is what we did for uh, Dead Space 2. Each new suit, we're going to equip a new one. All right? So we'll start with just the first one, and we'll go through them as we go. This is my favorite part of any Dead Space game. Let's see how cool it is. With the updated graphics. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Those are hands. Oh, no. Oh, that's disgusting. 
Chat, let me get into some light. Oh my god, look at the back of me. Okay, so... I, so, I have affixed to me different parts of the ship. I've put hand antlers on my front, along with a bunch of fingers, some ears. <laughs> I've affixed more armor to myself, more scrap armor, and I also have a necromorph hang head hanging from the back. They're twitching? No, they're not. Oh, they move. Oh, I think that's just me. Oh, but they do. They move when I move. Uh, this is terrible. I don't know about this chat. <laughs> that was convoluted. Yeah, I'm like yeah, I look like a raider from Fallout. This is <laughs> This DLC might be totally worth it, Chad. <laughs> I I can't wait to switch off of this one. Behind you, brother! Mamir. Not now. Hey. Give me your hands to make a crown. Don't give that. It's taking it out of context. You would not mess with this guy. <laughs> you saw this guy coming, you'd be like, Jesus. The hands are distracting. I, I I agree, but I wanted to try it. Gotta try all the suits. Oh, now we can get our uh, kinesis module. Good. I mean, at least it's visually interesting and ridiculous, right? <laughs> That's fun. See, now, person in the chat, now I can take limbs off and throw them back. I forget. Ooh, I can do both at the same time. I don't want anything to follow me. And my hand antlers. <laughs> Gross. You're right, I should get my hands to operate the gun. That'd be smart. Oh, she's still alive. Oh, Jesus. Gotta hold the line. They all came back. Hey, hey so I didn't want to bring this up while you were dying, but... Um... Oh, oh, I thought that was floating. No, that's a hand with a spike. All right, game. <laughs> the last thing you see is a hand helmet. Yes. Now, I'm excited for the, um... Long one. I'm excited for the plasma gun. Because I, I never use the plasma gun... Uh... In any Dead Space game. But in this one, I know that it really takes advantage of the new flesh effects. So I want to see it. Yes, yes, the DLC suits are impressive, but can he... But can he fart himself to six times the speed of light, Kyle? Shokte with the five. I'd guess not. I cannot wait to get a different suit. What is, this? is that a mine now? Wait, what the? What was it? What did, I, what did I just do? What does that mine do? That is a mine, right? I guess we'll find out. 
The gore suit is incredible. Using it now. Okay. We'll get to it. Depends on how many, uh... Depends on how many, uh... Stores we visit. <laughs> but look at this. Ah, look at this hand helmet suit. It's ridiculous. Back to the security station chat. Chat. Don't worry, it's 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 working perfectly. Not having trouble with it at all. Chat, I hope you are enjoying so far Scientist Plays Dead Space. I think it looks great. It sounds it, it looks better, it sounds better, there's new stuff to do. <laughs> this <laughs> this DLC is ridiculous. Um, we are halfway through today's stream. Um, so what I want you to do is take, let's say, three to five minutes. I want you to get up, stretch, hydrate if you have to, use the bathroom, and, uh, well, let me just ask, huh? Come on now, Kevin. Thank you. Plugging and chugging a little bit there. Chat. I want you to get hydrated, use the bathroom, stretch, get a little snacky snack. We still have the second half of the stream to go. When we get back, Buster, how many science times did we hit? Oh, uh, Buster says halftime count is at 11. We've already had 11 science times in just 90 minutes. That's a better rate of return than school. Chat, if you're enjoying Scientist Plays Dead Space Remake, hit that like button now. I'll be back with you in just... A couple of minutes and we'll see what other shenaniganry we can get up to and how gross we will look while doing it. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.
That wasn't the right button. You can blame Kevin for that one. Chat. I hope. There we go. Hope that you got what you needed. I'm ready to go. We need a video of just hair care? I've thought about it. I thought about it. What's going on with that? that? Why is it deciding to make me so bright? Chat, if you're enjoying Dead Space right now, spam your favorite emoji. We've gotten to 11 science times already. We're halfway through today's stream. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, would I recommend Dead Space so far? I think so. It seems like the I mean, if you're gonna, if you want to play this game, this is the definitive way to do so. Modman, welcome. Welcome to all the members of the facility, all members of the gaming channel. I appreciate it. If you're a member of the gaming channel like Buster Sharp there, you can spam weird emojis in my face. We'll get a lot more emojis once there's a lot more membies. Eyeliner Witch. Caboose. Matigator. Miss Calvert. Daryl, welcome. Eleven Science Times. I'm excited to get back into it. Is there anything about the remake that sticks out to you in particular? Um, just, I mean... The environmental... Well, obviously the graphics are much, 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 much better. Um, but the environmental changes in terms of the lighting... Um, specifically, it, it makes it feel... In the moments where you feel very uncomfortable, you should feel you should feel very claustrophobic, right? And it, it does. It made me. You saw me whip on that guy, and he was so close, I could only see like just a flash of his body in my flashlight, and that's really scary. Kyle, can we use gamma particles as fuel? No. Um, gamma particles are what what you're saying. Um, gamma radiation is light. Um, same as the light you're seeing my face with now. It just has the most energy. It's the highest energy form of light. Um, and I mean, I, it's, it's not a fuel. You know what I mean? It's more a... <laughs> unless you consider like the light for a solar panel a fuel. Um, it's not a direct fuel source, is what I'm getting at. So, there are things called uh, radio, iso, radio isotope thermal generators, RTGs, that use heat, def heat def differentials across thermocouples to generate electricity. And that heat is from decay heat from like strontium 90 or cesium 137 or something like that. So in a way you can use radiation as fuel, but it's not like a direct. Well, what? well then what's nuclear power? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you see the news about the radiation source on a highway in Australia? I did. Um, that is similar to... So they said it, it's used in... The source was used in mining? Or something like that? Um, so it might be... The same thing that we talked about in our Half-Life... In our Half-Life history... Um, about... Uh, Douglas Crowfoot. When he... It's, he seemingly... Killed himself with a radioactive source that is used to check welds um, when laying pipe. Um, so that that could have been what was lost in Australia, but I but I'm not sure. Now I don't know why the source would be unprotected. If it's just laying there on the road, 
in its case, that's that's technically an orphan source and it is dangerous. Um, but I don't know why it wouldn't be still shielded in, a, in its container. So it's it's very it's potentially dangerous, but it's not actively dangerous. You know what I mean? Um, orphan sources pose an immediate ra radiological threat. Um, like we saw in Goyonia, Brazil, we also did a uh, Half-Life history on that, where people looking for scrap cracked open a radioactive source in, in medical equipment, and a lot of, a lot of, uh, many people died, a couple people died, and uh, many, many more were exposed and irradiated. It's supposedly a 6 millimeter by 8 millimeter little puck, this is Tactical Bucket. That is what's scary about radiation, is that Extremely radioactive sources can be very tiny and easy to lose and deceptive. I remember, um, and I have video about, I have video of this that I'll show you soon. Um, but when I went to Chernobyl, they showed us the danger of that, where they, uh, they found a radioactive source about probably small, as small as half a grain of rice and they told us to use our detectors on it, and um, it spiked the detectors off the charts. That's scary. But not as scary as Dead Space, am I right? What do you think of Earth's, the article on Earth's core slowing down and changing direction? I haven't read into it at all, so I, I don't have an opinion. <laughs> Shkote, with the 10. I have to bug you, so I'll mention it here too. Hulk's Thunderclap. I think I have an episode on Because, uh, on because Science on Hulk's Clap, I believe. Do things lose mass if they radioactive decay, says Jared Robinson? They transmute into something, into a different element. Um, they will, they will lose mass, but they don't, like, go, they don't fully go away. They'll turn into, like, iron, eventually. But they will lose some mass depending on how they decay, because, for example, alpha decay, um, is the emission of basically a, a helium nucleus, and that has mass, right? Now, if you excuse me, I'm a psychopath on a ship that needs to shooty-shooty, for my duty duty. Am I... I'm correct, right? On the losing mass part? I think I... <laughs> get ready to get bodied. Ooh, the new effect... Ooh, that just feels a lot more crisp right now. Get... S s s sir. Oh my god, I... <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to do that. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Medical wing. I remember that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Isaac, have you heard from Daniel? We were attacked. She ran the other way. No, nothing. Medical's a slaughterhouse. They barricaded access to the morgue. See, that's what I would do. Yeah, but the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. Hydrazine's a uh, rocket fuel. Be through there. Isaac, the one who attacked us. Interesting. I swear to God, it was Chen. But I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue, maybe it was to keep something in. Kyle, that that ant that hand antler is really not helping your not a supervillain vibe. Well, good good thing that we're gonna try to get through all the DLC suits and at least show you what the DLC looks like. Because I don't want to be wearing that anymore. It should show the hands in this. It should warn me. I'm guessing the infested suit is even grosser. Are you guys ready? Yep, too late.
Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> It turned it turned me into one of them. Look at it. Let's get some light. Half of my face is I have half of a skull coming out of my mask. My most of my internal organs are missing. My arm is exposed. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, there we go, chat. <laughs> and my spine is exposed. I like that my midsection's gone. Okay, I haven't used this in the new the plasma rifle in the new game. I want to. Is this where I get tentacled? Oh, chat. did that until his skull was out. And then I heard self-inflicted ocular injury. Oh, jeez. I do that right before I go to work. <laughs> Says the mod man. Get a little framey gamey. But if it looks this good on ultra settings, it's gonna be sick. And I don't just mean because I have a skull coming out of my skull coming out of my face. That lighting is good. Look at look at look at how that like look at the tracing that it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get the heck out of here. Or not. Crispy, thanks for the gifts. Thanks for being here. I'll see you in the Discord soon. I want to blast some goo off. That's not... I'm just going to push forward. I'm just going to push through it. There we go. Oh, the game can't handle it. Game can't handle it. Game can't... Okay, that was pretty gross and cool for, like, when the game can handle it. We'll see if the game can handle it. <laughs> it's cool for a second. Hey, are you okay? Oh! <laughs> I mean, oh, God. Ooh. I think that was just because I was producing a lot of, you know, particle effects and stuff. My PC's all right. I am playing on high to wall streaming, so. I don't think I'll be using the, uh, the, uh, pla the pulse rifle. I just wanted to see it. That gun is useless. I know. I just wanted to see the body effects on it. What I'm really excited for is the Ripper, which is the best, and the, um, the force gun. I want to. I want to. I want to remove all of the skin in one fell swoop. Oh, I haven't been stopped. 
another choice again, chat. Doors or the elevator? that you can see like his meat and bones come off. <laughs> it's freaking sick. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that I had I have kinesis now. And then I can throw their own bones at them. That's how I saw I saw one speedrunner take no damage on impossible mode. Hey. <laughs> Idiot. Chat, I'm hitting him with a set of beakers. I'm gonna kill him with science. Or not. Never mind. I saw a guy do an impossible run, taking no damage on the hardest difficulty by just strategically dismembering their arms. So let's try that. <laughs> or, or not. Or, or not. Perfect. Uh, that did not work out so well. What I didn't know is that you can catch the vomit guy's vomit as well. Didn't know that. Until I watched the speed run. Yep. All according to plan. Heidi, welcome. Nice to see you. That's DNA. What are they doing? No! Chatty got me. I think I'm supposed to be going... It's terrifyingly dark, yeah. Careful now. And keep in mind, uh... I have a bright light shining in my face. So it's even... It's even harder to see for me. Not trying to brag or anything. Kyle, did you bring snacks for the chat? Yeah, I brought, uh, Parmesan crisps. Highly recommended. They have made the ship feel a lot more seamless. That I don't have to take a tram to the next station or anything. Like, I've been moving or playing the entire time, right? Alex Schumer, welcome. Oh, what? Entering zero gravity. Bad guy here? Or is he behind me? Ooh. I thought in this game there's a bad guy. Something just came out of the back of his suit there. What is that? Small hole in your suit is probably ideal for a depressurized zone. Yeah, I don't think this suit um, holds holds a pressure too well. If I had to guess. Yeah. 
sick. So remember, chat, in 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 Dead Space 2 you could do this. But in Dead Space 1 you couldn't do you couldn't do zero G like this at all. This is all brand new. Was jets added? Yeah, this is all. Sick. My uh, controller's shaking as well as the um as the as I hover around. <laughs> How do you feel about the Last of Us TV show not using spores like in the game? I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Oh, oh, you mean because the infection is... Is it now canonic... Canonically that they travel via the, the mycelium stuff in the mouth? That's fine. We're going to do a video on it. I think. How do I reorient myself? This way is up. Got it. I'm fine with them not having spores in the game. Particle effect. It, at least they they changed it, but they made it. Um, they made like in the second episode. I won't spoil it, but there's something different from the game that they made it a new aspect of the storytelling and the danger of the infected, which I thought was cool. And think about it, if it's not spores, then you don't have to have your actors in gas masks a lot of the time. Which is a bonus. If you're, you know, acting and stuff. Still holding this position. What's happening there? Did you find Nicole? No sign of her yet. But I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay. Work fast, Isaac. <laughs> Here I go blasting again. Yeah, uh, Shkode, I, I agree. All the changes that they made um, to The Last of Us TV show are reasonable. All the acting is fantastic. The sets... Oh no! It's baby time. Where? Hit! Oh! Ow! Ooh, you get knocked around in Zero G. I like that. Look at all this flesh coming off. <laughs> um, and with... They're spending more than $10 million per episode. And you can see it in the sets. And, and the effects and everything. It just looks so good. Getting all twisted around here. Yeah, Pedro wasn't good in 1984, Jared, but because that movie was bad. What the hell? It shut the whole ship. I'll check it out. Let me test the effect. Let me test the, the gravity there. Yeah. <laughs> Do the thing. Sick. Ooh, that's new. Usually you go that way. Wait. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Oh, this is all... This is brand new. You never did zero-g uh, flight through this area. Ooh. Cool. I like that. Kept me off my game. Do more damage. Oh, God. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Do more damage. 
Can I still do zero G stuff in here? Ha ha ha! Cool. Going down or up. Maybe you should, um... I think you need to give up on Chen. I'm sorry to say. Die! Die, man! That thing does not die. Ah! What difficulty am I on? I stomped so hard it turned off the door. Okay, but what's over here? <laughs> oh, that's where I came from. Chat, this is a, this is a DLC suit. I'm not, in fact, totally dead. Um, but this is a good opportunity to try the next suit. Like I said, my goal today, let's do some science time, which we haven't gotten to yet on this side of the stream. Um, let's do some science time. Let's also just give you the first couple hours of the game to show you what it's all about. Um, I'm going to... I don't like this gun at all. Okay, I think this this might be the coolest looking suit. Let's see. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it looks dope AF. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I look like RoboCop. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get some light on me. So y'all can see. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I look like a Mass Effect bad guy. Yeah, I, I've been trying to do that. Oh, because there's things on the ground. Got it. Ah! Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Ah, 
Bull crap. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, Kyle. Space is cool, says Count Dooku. Thank you, Count. Hey, Count, don't you think you're getting a little ahead of yourself? Because <laughs> you were decapitated. Come on now. Come on now. I just want to give you a hand. <laughs> oh, did I? <laughs> Nailed that guy too. Alright, fine. Do I have to... This was this was only a single floor in the in the normal game, isn't it? Now it's two floors? I think. Ooh. Give me that. <laughs> From a mile away. Give me your head. Double! Anytime you'd like to go down, that'd be sick. Hit! Woo! Quarantine lifted. I have engineered your death! Just, just bodied. Just checking around for goodies. <laughs> Oops. Interesting. I can... It looks like I can smash those uh, metal shelving to make them spears. Give myself a little Britney. Use it just because I can. How far, uh, how are you enjoying the game, Kyle? Anything new and interesting you like about the remake? Yes. Um, it looks amazing. It plays great. It's going to be even playing better when I'm not streaming. Um, the DLC suits are so far pretty sick. Uh, there's new areas, there's new lighting, there's new voice acting, there's new market. I only have good things to say. New new decisions, there's a whole new side quest um, about Nicole in this game. I'll read you later. Um... Which gives you backstory and their relationship, which isn't really in the first game. The original, I mean. Stuff like this. Ben, what in God's name is happening down there? Precisely that. God's work. How can you say that? These deaths at the colony. The paranoia, the hallucinations. You wanted a scientific analysis? Cause and effect? Well, it all began after they raised the marker. Cause and effect, I get it. What are you so worried about? The marker is defined. We know this. Look, it'll be on board tomorrow. You can study it then. Put your mind at ease. At ease? People are dying. How can that be the truth? 
transformation the teachings promise. We're witnessing a new beginning. Terrapins. For unitology, for humanity. Of course our faith is being tested. Everything is about to change. Space Bucks. Thanks for being here, Newcastleman. Appreciate it. Nicole? It's me. Is this her office? I think we got in go to Nicole's office before, huh? Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvements. Zero G if this continues, therapy, huh? there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. Hmm. However, Dr. Mercer continues to interfere. Matt? He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. Classic. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Tracking uh, Rig signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. See, this is the uh, side quest, I think. Inconclusive. Damn it. Manual rig tracking is available. There you go. Side mission. I've never done that before. Let's do that. Let's do something I no one has ever seen before. Let's do that. Change mission. Change. Change mission. There we go. Digging deep. I can't reach the emergency room until I destroy the bear. Oh, it, oh, okay, all right. It's, it's telling me exactly what I need to do. I like that. Kyle, do you approve of unitology? No. I know that would have been uh, hard to guess, right? Did I already come in here? No. Schematics. For stasis pick. Don't need. Space dollars. I'm curious how much longer this is compared to the original Dead Space. It's right. I. It's got to be longer. Right. It has. It's the same game with more stuff. And they added this. Um, clearance, security clearance system to some of the areas, so you're gonna have to go back and do some things. Where hopefully they added new stuff in those areas. Oh! Oh, Hey, don't worry, I, I, um, hey, I'll, uh, um, he's, he's fine. See, this clearance thing, it's going to make it kind of like Metroidy, Metroidian. That's a word. I'm going to shoot the crap out of this baby. Don't they? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've never used the par the pulse rifle in these games, so it is kind of satisfying to. Hey, um, so I don't know how to say this, but um. <laughs> Are you studying little babies in here? It's alive! Oh god, they're all alive. Oh god. Pregnant. The force gun is god tier. Nick, welcome. Always love seeing that avatar in the shed. Uh. The force gun has got you. That's what I want to get to. I want to see the um, the new flesh and bloody system 
when I can remove an entire necromorph's worth of skin off of a body. Ah, babies! So much ammunition for one child. As opposed to two shots, how about 50? Oh, I could have used those. Can I? Do they have their own little things that I can. Ew. I'm just gonna go ahead and just. Yeah. <laughs> Satisfying thud. I'm just gonna go ahead and put you over there. Are those babies used for cloning? I have no idea what these babies are being used for. 77.1k. Now, I'd imagine that's Kelvin. No, it can't be Kelvin. That's extremely cold. So, 77,000? But what would that mean? Don't know. Hmm. I don't know what they're doing in here. Probably something totally fine. Preserving things in cryo? Well, it doesn't look like they're in cryo. They're in tubes. Is that a ball? Is that, just, is that a workout ball? 30 kg? That's a heavy ass ball. <laughs> See how I go near the environmental uh, danger and he automatically puts his hand. Sometimes you gotta put your hand on the stove, Chad. a shark pad I could use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. Uh, yeah, no, the voltage is fine. Nothing happened. It's all good here now. Um, how are you? Kyle, would a sidekick improve the game? You mean like Dead Space 3? What's your TK number? Uh, 421. Uh-oh. Flesh. Flesh. Bones in flesh and bones and flesh. And bones and bones and <laughs> now I know he didn't, but it sounded like he said, "Ow, Kyle, he'll never tap dance again." It's true. Guilty feet have gotten a rhythm. Everyone knows that. Ooh, it's time for a new suit, Chet. What is a sh- Oh! <laughs> Chet, I did not understand until just now that they mean a defibrillator. I thought a shock pad was some, like, forced thing. It's- It's a defibrillator. That makes sense. Ooh, I'm not even. Oh. <laughs> For a second, I wasn't walking there. You see that? New suit time. So many credits. I have extra crap. Well, not really. Eh. How bloody do we get? Send stuff to storage, Kyle. No. Jezebu, thank you for being here. Thank you for being the resident Aussie in the chat.
I have seen some things. I have seen some things, Chad. Um, Alex. With an interesting question. Let me just see how sweet and bloody I am. <laughs> Alex with a science time question. Kyle, we always see massive ships in sci-fi, Death Stars and like. My question is if we could even make ships this big and are they feasible? They are only feasible, Alex, if the if a couple of normal restrictions are removed. So the only reason why we can make ships as big as they are, like, you know, aircraft carriers and, and, and whatnot, is because a lot of their weight is supported, well, all of their weight is supported, by the buoyant force of water. The buoyant force, of course, equal to the weight of fluid that you are displacing. That's why uh, something like a, an oil tanker, battle cruiser, battle cruiser, I've been watching too much StarCraft, uh, why an aircraft carrier is mostly hollow. Like, on average, it is hollow. So that the weight of the water displaced by the ship is greater than the weight of the ship itself. That's why things float. And that's, and if that sounds like mass per volume, that's why something that is less dense floats on top of something that is more dense. So ships that float are less dense than water by definition. Now, that allows for very, very big things to float. But there's obviously a limit um, to how much weight you can get. In space, in microgravity, you don't have that limit. So to answer your question, Alex, if we could build, we could easily build ships that are a kilometer long or whatever, like the Ishimura, if you build them in space, where you have no forces on the materials, and then they stay in space and they never go back down a gravity well. Um, in that way, they're never subjected to the forces that would render them impossible on Earth. So yes, giant ships, depth... Like I was saying... That was... They are not um, responding as much to damage as in the first game. Like in the first game, you'd, you'd be able to stop them pretty quick. Um, like you'd be able to stagger them pretty good, but you're not doing, not really doing that. Remember, when you reach the morgue, find Captain Matthias's body. Nice Get his particle code, effects there. And the computer's all ours. Isn't microgravity the term for in orbit? Regular space shouldn't have gravity, says Jansen Baker. Not true. Not true. Um, it's microgravity. Um, everything in the universe... Bullcrap. ...is in orbit around everything else. Something is always orbiting something. That's just the nature of, of gravity. Um... Earth is orbiting the sun, the sun is orbiting in the Andromeda, in the Milky Way galaxy, that, those galaxies, our galaxy is orbiting a cluster in a of a collection of galaxies that's even in bigger, everything's orbiting everything else. Um, and so, <laughs> what I was getting at is even in the even in space, you can have appreciable gravity, and you could have weight. Um, for example, the International Space Station is in orbit, which means it's in constant free fall around the Earth, which means there's microgravity because... or zero gravity, because... You shut up. Because the ship is falling, or the station is falling at the same rate you are, and so you never catch up to it, and so you have no weight no uh, reaction force on the floor. Um, if the International Space Station stopped in orbit and hovered, 
which would take a lot of energy, but if it just hovered above the surface of the planet, at that distance you would still have about 90% of Earth's gravity. Up there. They would still weigh most of what they weigh on Earth. So there's still gravity up there. Um, so I say microgravity because it's never really zero gravity and gravity is relative to others. I think that's, I may be, I think I'm, you know what, I'm rambling. I'm just going to continue on. Gravity's hard. I don't know if any of what I what just said made any sense. That'll do some damage. Let me just strategically place this and strategically place this here. No reason. Everything should be fine. Loop and transmit to all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, Shit. Maybe I have some PHP left. Follow Nicole's hologram. Got it. Ooh, there's gonna be a lot of enemies in here, huh? Strategic. Strategery. Level two security clearance required. Prove it. I'm gonna follow Nicole. I wanna see what's going on. Looks like I need to do this. Bad idea. Well, move it. Oh. Strategically place that. Medical log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. So much for being paranoid. I repurposed this room to run counseling sessions without unitologists interfering. Now, it's the only place I feel safe. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. Genetically, it's human tissue with bizarre mutations. But it's just a sample. It's not enough to figure out a cure. I need... Wait, where's that report from engineering? Sorry. Here. Sorry. Sorry, Chad. The engineers pulled something out of machinery. Limbs missing, torso intact. Okay. Time for a real autopsy. This isn't gonna. This is. This is. Uh, where's my strategically placed. Oh, <laughs> Baby! Yeah, take that. That's not the run button. Where? Oh, yeah, sure, that didn't do nothing. It's hard to see. Oh, it's right in front of me! Ah, oh, it's so hard to see! Kick the baby! Hit it! Thank you, jeez. Can't 
see nothing in this. It's terrifying. Ah! Uh, I'm stressed out, Chad. Oh, there it is. Thanks for being here. Good night to you as well. Give me that. See the like the bone flesh stuff from I like that effect. It's cool. Uh oh. I think it's tentacle time, chat. And no, I don't mean it like that. I've seen enough anime to know where this is going. Aaron, thank you. I it's very funny. Forget you, baby. Do I, I need to use stasis on every single one of these guys? It feels like it. My hand is starting... I'm starting to feel me holding this up on here. Some of y'all getting held for moderation, and you deserve it. Strategic. Security request retrieved. He left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching my back. If you want to help me in with them. Not a children's game, chat. Yeah, he just whispered suicidal ideations. Hey, Kyle, chat. Greetings from Poland. This is Valteris144. Welcome. Join us. Still have a little bit more stream left to go. My finger is cramping up from holding the button for my flashlight the whole time. Yeah, this feels harder than the original, to be honest. Guys are sneaking up on me. Ooh, look at that light. Now that's a, that's a cinematic shot right there, Chad. I look terrible. Let's uh, keep going. Oh, that's why. That was sick. <laughs> it looked so cool. Kyle, are you going to play Callisto Protocol? We already did play Callisto Protocol on stream. You can check it out. It's one of the VODs on this channel. Sick but not realistic, says Jaden Booth. Uh, in terms of what? Stuff getting sucked out the windows? 
Uh, it depends. We talked about this last time. Um... But, oh, there, there's a really, um... There's a really creepy scene coming up here. This is when you're usually first introduced to the infectors, the things that infect people. And it was usually be behind the glass of that room. They reworked the whole scene to make you a part of the action. Content or gore? Uh, both. Uh, gore. Sorry. I didn't understand the request. Expecting more stuff out there. Crap. Oh, they're coming through the windows. Why would I leave the door open? I need the force gun, chat. Flash effects are pretty cool. Let's see what this let's see what this does. Oh. How are you still alive? Woo! I keep I keep forgetting to use my telekinesis. Isaac, what's your status? Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> many coats now. That's exactly how I would have. Saw him and a flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. That's exactly what I would have said. The same must have happened to Chen. God, maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. <laughs> That was a really good cutscene, though, huh, chat? That looked really good. Oh. Isaac. I'm oh, here. What the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward each of seven. Oh, God. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here, head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Yeah, why doesn't the captain have maximum security, uh, maximum security clearance? You're right. He can only do captain-y kind of stuff, you know? Clearance confirmed.
always sounds like there's someone behind me, man. Clearance confirmed. Last suit. Last DLC suit chat. Perfect timing. This is like the, um... This is like the Zealot one. Or the, uh... What I think is like the, um, Unitologist crazy guy one. We also didn't look... There's the original suit, too. Which we can see, but... I want to check this one out. Similar. Oh, it's got weird markings all over it. I do like this, this, um, I must have this game, says Aaron. Uh, I do like the language that the Unitologist came up with. It is creepy. It looks suitably creepy. We'll check it out when we have more light. Don't worry, nothing's gonna happen to us at all. Kyle, are we still dirty boys and girls in chat? You calm down. Calm down, will you? I would stay in a tram. Flight deck tram control. Okay, there we go. Now arriving at flight deck tram control. Yeah, at least you're never, um, removed from your control so far, aside from cutscenes. I like that. There we go. in that bathroom many times for different reasons. Security recording retrieved. I didn't I didn't need to see Chen die twice, but that makes me think that I'm about to actually fight Chen or kill Chen. If game design, if I know anything about game design. What's your next video at the facility going to be? Start Jester. Um, you particle effects. I just reviewed the cut of it this morning, and it will be tomorrow or... Tomorrow or the next day. Or the next day. Where am I going? Oh, okay. Alright. Isaac, this damage report says there's a broken cargo lift just beyond the hangar doors. I'll open them now. Entering zero gravity. This section is all new. <laughs> You've never been able to do all of this. 
You'll need your thrusters to reach it. But that lift shaft should take you straight down to engineering. Look, here's other sections. Yeah, never been able to do any of this. Oh, I hear babies. It's pretty liberating. I like. Wait, where was that? Is that crazy, or did a baby just fire at? Uh, is it more open-worlded? No, it's still, I mean, it's still roughly linear, but you have open sections like this that you didn't have in the previous game, which I like. I'm going to assume I need that. Don't know where. Maybe right there? What do I need to turn on here? Track control. I'm feeling I don't need to do any of this right now. I can just go. Yeah. The particle effects are really good. Ah! Wasn't used to that. Man, it's quiet and stuff. Yeah. Baby! Two babies! I thought I could I, I thought I could catch one of those. Whoa, cool. Could you still have sparks like that in space? Yes, they can be self-oxidizing. That's not what I wanted. Is it? Oh. Um, use it. 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 Thank you. Chad, it's so tense. Alex, I did hear about that in Australia. Yeah. Interested to know how that turns out. Should be fine, but. See how uh, the airlock opened and those moved? That's accurate. That was cool. You've never never played that section before. Brand new. I don't like the pulse rifle at all. I want my ripper. Hey, we're in the same helmet. Look at us, who would have thought, huh? Here for a moment to see Kyle freak his cookies out, says Zen Zelnik. I've never heard that phrase, but okay. Ew. First of all, don't just open by yourself. It scares me. Warning. Orbital position compromised. Correction. 
Correct course immediately. So what was in the original instead of that floating section? Oh, uh, you just take the tram to the location and it, and it, lo it does a loading screen. Instead of all of that that you just saw. And it gives you a limited amount of time. I like that. Danger. Counter synchronous orbit. Drift. Orbiting debris field. Increase altitude. Strongly advised. Synchronize to planetary orbit. Damage to engine compartments. So, what that means is that my orbit is eventually not going to match the orbital speed. And instead of being a nice orbital circle free falling around the planet. It's going to change shape and decay until I hit the planet and I'm no longer in freefall. As Tom Petty once said. Uh, we're almost done with the stream, but let's check out the, the final suit, the final DLC suit, uh, which is the suit from the original game. Just just so we, we can say we've seen everything. Just so we can say we've seen everything. Science time. I think I missed a couple of these. Science. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice and bronze, baby. Ooh, that looks nice. So basically, that means it's breaking apart. No. Let's get some light on this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Classic. Ooh, it's bringing me back. Chat's bringing me back. It looks good. Let's get myself into the light. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure what the utility of any of these, like, armor pieces is on for uh, engineering, but. Who am I? I only have a degree in engineering. Seeing you in the control room. Any news on the engines? Yeah, but it makes no sense. They're out of fuel. The centrifuge is offline. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's dragging us down to the planet. Can you handle it alone? Sure. Fix the centrifuge, hmm. get the fuel running, and do a full restart. But you'll need the stabilizer orbit from there. Standing by. Fast as you can, hmm. Isaac. Hmm. Now I don't know about that. I I I I actually don't know. Does having more mass? I guess it would. More mass would decay your orbit faster. I suppose because the gravitational force would be higher between you and the planet, and so you have to correct harder. But I don't know. I think that's true. Chat. Not the easiest thing to look up, but I think. Would a centrifuge actually work to keep stabilization in space? No. Um, depends on what kind of stabilization you mean. I think they mean stable in orbit. Um, but, man, look at all this. It looks so good. But to maintain a stable orbit, you occasionally have to do burns to, to get higher... To get back up, basically. So that you're continuously free-falling because you eventually decay. Um, what's this now? Yes! Kyle, when will you stream next? Pro we'll probably do Elden Ring this weekend. I mean, I don't have to. I mean, I don't know. What? We'll equip it. Oh, I can't. <laughs> well, then Kyle, just equip it. Got it. My favorite. Yes. Yes. Bathroom. What do you mean by decay, says Dr. Anonymous? What I mean by decay is that when you're in orbit around something, because there is... So you... 
you're orbiting something like a planet, right? Now, to maintain orbit around that planet, you have to give yourself enough um, velocity this way such that when you add it to the, the vector of gravity that's pulling you down, you create a constant change. Well, I'm adding two vectors here. So if I, if I go fast enough this way, and the Earth's pulling me down at some acceleration this way, I add these two things up, and what I get is a resultant vector that points this way. Now, if I do that instantaneously at every single point, you get a circle. I'm just describing acceleration in a circle. That's all I'm doing. So orbital velocity is trying to make sure that this, since you can't change gravity, you want this to be enough such that you're always free falling around the planet. But over time, you will get pulled down. You still will get pulled down. It's con You'll constantly being being pulled down by gravity and that vector will start to change where it's pointing and if it changes enough it's going to be pointing straight into the planet and that's what I mean by decay it doesn't recognize my face cool thanks beard bead Okay, so I'm kind of wrong. Uh, so even when I was even when I was describing that, I was kind of wrong. Okay, so now we're going to correct ourselves. Jaden Booth is correct. So what I was saying was kind of wrong. So let's back up to halfway point. What I said was that if you go fast enough this way, and you're constantly being pulled down this way, then you will create a vector that at every point it will make a circle all the way around and if gravity is constant and you're not acted on by an outside force you should continue on on your path forever that's inertia that's Newton's laws so how could it decay what I said is eventually you just get pulled down by gravity not true this should these two things should lead you in a circle around the planet forever. It's the other things that cause your orbit to decay. Um, gravitational anomalies, electromagnetic effects, fluid friction like atmospheric drag. Okay? So, so if you are even... If you're up in space, low Earth orbit, you still get a little bit of wispy Earth atmosphere. And that wispy Earth atmosphere will drag on this vector. So I want to be going this way around a planet, and if I have to move through a little bit of atmosphere, that vector is going to get smaller and smaller, right? Because it's going to... The drag force is going to slow you down. Now, once this... Watch what... This is... You could... I'm doing this with my freaking fingers, but you can do this, and this actually works. If these two vectors are the same length and it makes a nice little resultant like this, what happens if this vector gets smaller? It starts to point... The resultant starts to point more and more down, correct? So if you're slowed down by electromagnetic forces, gravitational anomalies, or atmospheric drag, then your orbit decays such that eventually points down to the planet. Now, when you have something going around a planet... Sometimes decay is what you want. We do we purposefully decay satellites, knowing that their uh, the friction with the atmosphere, the compressive heating with the atmosphere, is they're going to burn up in the atmosphere. So, in a perfect physics world, in a perfect mathematical model, orbital velocity and gravity 
you could orbit something forever. But because the universe is not that simple, cows are not spherical, and you have to model air resistance, other, any, any little thing that can slow you down or alter your trajectory and your velocity in any way will act to decay your orbit. I apologize that I made it sound like I knew what I was talking about at the beginning. But even when I was describing it out loud, it's like, man, that's, that's not quite right. So that is the correct explanation. Chat, we're almost to the end of the stream. We gotta get to the next save point, and I have my favorite weapon in the game. You can't scare me. Give me your toilet dollars. looks so gosh darn good. Did I already go through here? This looks so good, dude. <laughs> you see that? Did you see how the, um, the blade got hotter as it uh, went through presumably bone and stuff? See how those little red marks made it look like there was bone and stuff? <laughs> awesome. Autopsy report, Dr. Nicole Brennan. Also new content yet? Subject was junior engineer David Swenson. The subject was dismembered after falling into machinery, allowing. God. So sorry. That doesn't look like David anymore. Seenin is what she said. Dead or cells. The dead tissue is absorbed, recombined, then reanimated. Interesting. Kind of like the a butterfly. Shows genetic markers with human DNA and it's all connected to the marker from each seven. Lore. No rest easy now, David. I promise. Kyle, are holograms like that possible? No, not really. End log. Um, you would need fr from a single projector, you would basically need to projection map onto something, right? Ripper man. I forgot. Uh, Chet, uh, the alternate fire of the Ripper now uh, ricochets, allowing for trick shots. Which is cool. I like how the, the weapon spins up before you fire, too. <laughs> Seems like it takes more to kill them this time. Warning. Fuel preserves depleted. Main engines offline.
Jared Robinson says, do they meet the qualifications to be life, kind of? Um, life reproduces, evolves, and has a metabolism, right? Well, according to one definition. I'm saying, chat, a hologram like that, I'm imagining you can get something really fancy, but with a single source of light like that, I don't, I don't know. Never seen anything like that. That's not the button. But my definition of this game? <laughs> Bloody awesome. Playing, but I. But, um, I, I don't see. I don't. Um, uh. um. <laughs> Jeez. Come on now. Sometimes when we've been playing for a while, chat, my machine dislikes change, much like me. Chat, we had a good day today. Chat disconnected. Ooh, what happened? Wow, that was weird. Maybe that wasn't the whole chat disconnected, so I don't know. Anyway, chat, that is the first three hours of Dead Space Remake. Um, if you are a fan of the game, or you've ever wanted to play it, this is the game to play. It looks great. I'm assuming it plays even better when I'm not streaming. Um, it's sciency. It's gross. It's interesting. If you played the game before, there's brand new stuff in it. I'm excited to play it off stream on ultra settings, according to Buster Sharp, we had 20 science times in just three hours. You're welcome. It's just what we do here. <laughs> and what we do here, of course, at the facility, is explore and explain everything underneath the stars and beyond. Yes, I think we might be streaming this weekend. Uh, if we get to it, it will be Elden Ring. Um... I am to the point on Elden Ring where uh, we are ready to beat the game and try to beat Melania, the hardest boss in the game. I want you to be there with me as I do that. If you want to join us at the facility every single day, see videos early, a new video will be coming out very soon, and a Dead Space video, and another Half-Life history. It's all gonna, oh, Chad, it's all happening. That's patreon.com slash Kyle Hill. Join the facility today. Melania took my buddy 150 tries. It will not take me that long. I hope you enjoyed the camaraderie. The science. The beard bead. I know. I know. I know. You don't have to say it. Once again, another amazing stream. Thanks for being here, Nightcrawler. If you want to check out the other streams, if you want to check out our other Elden Ring streams in preparation for this upcoming one, that's back on the gaming channel. Go back to the main channel. Like the stream. Thanks, everyone, for being here, asking good questions, keeping me honest about my explanations. Hit the notification bell if you want to be up to... I know I, I, know I don't have a, a great consistent streaming schedule, but if you want to be notified the instant we do anything here, hit those noties, as they say. I'm going to go do 50 pull-ups in five minutes. I hope the rest of your whatever you're doing is great. Until I see you next time, whether it's the next live stream, whether it's the other live stream that we do, whether it's a new documentary, 
a new science video. Until then, be nice to each other. This is all we got. My professors, I'll see you in just a little bit.